So let me guess, when you hear the word upsell, you're thinking about that time, yeah, you bought the product, you finally trusted the person enough to go to their sales page and click buy. And then as soon as you did that, they said, hey, whoa, 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 we're not done yet. We've got a special offer for you. You got 50% off this other product that you're never gonna see this offer ever again and you gotta buy it right now because it's this the greatest thing ever. And then you reluctantly say, okay, you hit buy. And now you spent more money than you were expecting to, and you don't feel great about it. You feel like you were kind of a little bit bait and switched. You feel like you were manipulated. And that's often what we think about when it comes to upsells. But what if, as a freelance writer, you could upsell your clients and you didn't have to feel scammy about it? In fact, you could feel great about it because you're doing your clients a favor in creating a win-win scenario. Well, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about six different ways you can upsell your freelance writing clients and create win-win scenarios without feeling scammy and making it a delightful and pleasant situation. So if you wanna make more money from your existing clients by upselling and offering more things, then watch this video. We're gonna show you exactly what you need to do it. So first off, you might be saying, what the hell's an upsell? Like if you don't know marketing speak, you might, you might not know what that is. Well, in basic terms, would you like fries with that? That might be the most famous upsell of all time. McDonald's is a genius when it comes to upsells. Would you like fries with that? Yeah, I'm hungry. I, I totally want fries with that. Would you like to supersize that today? Yeah, for 39 cents, give me more Coke and a whole lot of fries? Yes, I would like that. That's an upsell. An upsell is simply taking a customer that was buying one thing and offering them something else to get them to spend more money. So that could be as simple as 39 cents at the drive-through, that could be adding on an additional product after someone has bought a product, or in the case of freelance writing, it could be offering additional services to add to the invoice from what you were previously doing for a client. And that's what we're talking about today. Plain and simple, the easiest way to make more money freelancing is not through getting more clients, it's by getting additional work from the clients that you already have, the clients that trust you, the clients that like you, the clients that want to spend more money on you than having to find somebody new and go through three people that suck just to get to the person that's okay. So the first thing you can do is add social media content. So let's say that you are hired to write a blog post. You write the blog post, it's great. What is your client going to do? they're likely going to share it on social media. So what if you said, hey, I will uh, include three tweets, a Facebook post, a LinkedIn post, and an Instagram post uh, you know, with my article, and I'll only charge an extra 50 bucks for it or an extra 75 bucks. It's not gonna take you that much time. They're not gonna have to hire somebody else to do that work, and you're the expert. You're the one that wrote the article to begin with, so your tweets and your LinkedIn post and your Facebook post are probably going to be just as good, if not better, than what somebody else might do. So that's just a little thing you can float out there to potentially start getting more money from your existing clients. All right, the second thing is a little bit more advanced here, but let's uh, let's say that you wrote a blog post. Not only is the company going to share them on social media, what else are they gonna do? They're gonna send an email to their list, but they have to hire a copywriter in order to do that. And who is going to be the expert at the content that was written in the blog post? You are, not the copywriter. You know more about the content than they do. So what if you were to say, hey, for an extra $100, I will write an email that you can send out that's going to drive clicks and drive people from your email list over to the blog post. It saves them from having to interface with a separate person. It saves them from having to potentially find another freelance copywriter. And if you've got a good relationship with them and they like you and trust you, they're going to be excited to give you more money and give you more work. Okay, one quick thing, stay tuned because in just a couple minutes, I'm going to share you a couple tips that are essentially going to make all of these things work. Because if you approach all of these things in the wrong way, it's not gonna work and it, it could backfire. So just make sure you keep watching because I wanna make sure that if you do approach these upsells with your current clients, that you're doing it in the right way and just don't make an ass of yourself. Fair? Okay, cool. All right, the third upsell for existing clients is probably my favorite because it is in such high demand right now and that is content updates. Let's say your client has a blog that's been around for eight years and half of their blog posts are over five years old. When was the last time you did a Google search and something from 2015 showed up? Doesn't happen very often, but so many companies now have all of these old blog posts that they've paid for, they've put time and effort into, that actually might have very good information, but they're not getting seen simply because they're viewed as out of date by Google and the people that are reading them. So the opportunity for you is to say, hey, I'm writing this article for you, but I've noticed you've got half a dozen older articles that are really good around a similar topic. They just need some updating. We need to fix some links, have a couple more modern references, and republish with a more recent start date. 
that's going to drive more Google traffic to you and potentially get you more customers. And I'm willing to do it for a hundred bucks a post. A lot of these updates can be made very quickly, but this is like the ultimate low hanging fruit when it comes to blogging. The single biggest thing I can do personally on Location Rebel right now is not write new content or shoot new videos, although I keep doing it. It's going back and updating all of the older content I have that's still great, but might be from literally 2009. <laughs> And again, if you think things don't show up on Google from 2015, try trying to get a post from 2009 to rank. It doesn't work very often. So anyway, this is a huge demand a lot of companies are needing. And if you already have a relationship with a client and they've had a blog for a while, this is one of the easiest upsells you can do. All right, the fourth upsell is editing other posts. So let's say the person you're working with, they've got six other writers and they're having to spend almost as much time editing posts as they would have had to write posts. I know this is an issue for me and it's why I don't hire that many writers on Location Rebels because I usually end up spending a similar amount of time editing a post as it would take me to just write it myself to begin with. So I usually just do that and write it myself to begin with. But if you've got a good relationship with this client and you've proven yourself to be a good writer, a good editor, your, your work isn't coming back with a ton of edits. So you might say, hey, I know you're posting a piece of content a day. That's gotta be a lot of work for you. What if I took some of that off your plate and I did the editing, I published it in WordPress so that you can free up your time to work on the overarching strategy rather than getting into the weeds of editing. Again, this is only gonna work for certain writers that really have an eye for it. And you wanna make sure that you're not getting a ton of edits and a ton of critiques with your own articles before you suggest this. But if you do a good job and your writing's pretty straightforward, it could be an easy way to add a lot more to your invoices. All right, so the last two upsells are going to be related specifically to freelance copywriters. But before we go into those, I wanna share a couple of these tips uh, that I mentioned a couple minutes ago because I want, this, this stuff's important. If you go about this the wrong way, none of this is gonna work. It's gonna make you seem like an asshole and we don't want that to happen. So a couple quick tips when thinking about upsells for your freelance business. First off, you wanna make sure you've got a solid relationship with your client first. You don't want to say, cool, I've been working with you for three days. I've submitted one blog post. Now, how about you pay me double what you were paying me to do all of these other things? They're going to look at that and be like, no, who, who are you? You haven't proven yourself yet. I don't know who you are. But if you've been working with someone for a few months, you've got good rapport, they like you, then the chances are they want to give you more work. They just don't necessarily know what you're capable of doing. That is the perfect opportunity to kind of float some of these upsells out there, but only do that once you've established a good working relationship and you've proven that you're reliable and you're a good writer. All right, next tip is stay in your lane. If you're doing writing work, don't pitch them on like graphic design work. You want to be an expert in what you are working with them for. You don't want to be jack of all trades, master of none. So if you're doing writing, then upsell them on more writing or editing or copywriting. But don't come up with some random thing that might even be a completely different department that the person you're interfacing with doesn't even work on. Try and keep it in the same vein because it's going to make it that much easier for them to say yes. Next, listen to what they need. If you've got a good relationship with this person, you're probably having conversations and they're probably mentioning things like, man, it's really hard to find someone who can edit all of the content we've got. Ding, 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 that's an opportunity for you. Or they might say, man, it's such a pain to have to write all the social media content around all of these posts. Hey, there's an opportunity for you. So if you're trying to figure out what you can offer as an upsell, then listen to what they're talking about and don't be afraid to ask questions. You're trying to make their life easier. And if they recognize that's what's happening, they're going to be much more inclined to find ways to allow you to do that where you both end up winning. And finally, don't be pushy, except no, if they're not into it, then cool, move on. Suggest it again three months down the road. But the last thing you wanna do is really try and force it on them when they're not into it. So don't be afraid to accept no for an answer. And if it doesn't work for this client, then it might be a good fit for the next client. All right, finally, let's wrap this up with a couple specific upsell tips for freelance copywriters. And the first one is adding more pages to your work. One of the things you can do as a copywriter is understanding what some of the most effective pages are that most businesses have. You've got your homepage, maybe you've got an opt-in page for a newsletter, you've got an about page, you've got a testimonials page, a rates page, a frequently asked questions page, whatever it might be. Have your own like backlog of you know, 15, 20 pages that a lot of these websites have. And then if you get hired to say write an about page, figure out what other pages they're missing that could be a really good fit for them. So you write their about page and say, hey, I noticed that you've got some great client testimonials, but you're not highlighting them anywhere. What if I did a testimonials page and a frequently asked questions page for you that ties directly into everything that I'm doing on your about page and helps carry through a consistent message across all of those pages? They're probably gonna say, 
Yeah, that sounds great. We totally need that. Not sure why we didn't think of it ourselves. So an easy way to make that pitch if you're already working on one page is just to say, hey, it's important to have a consistent voice and a consistent message across all aspects of your brand and website. Let me help you out with that. All right, the second upsell you can offer as a freelance copywriter is an email sequence. So let's say you're working on a sales page, but what do we all know is one of the most effective ways to make that sales page convert? It's by warming up your potential customers via an email sequence. So if your client doesn't have that email sequence, you can say, hey, we're working on the sales page. It's going to be great. But one of the best things we can do to increase our conversions on the sales page is to write an email sequence that's going to warm them up. And what you want to do, again, it goes back to that idea of a consistent message, is you can say, hey, rather than hiring a separate person to do this that's not necessarily going to have the same vibe and the same flow and the same messaging, I would love to do all of these things for you so we can make sure that they're cohesive together so that the sales page resonates with the emails and vice versa. That's going to make things easier on the client because they have fewer people to interface with. It's going to make things easier on you and it's going to make you look better because if you have that email sequence to go with the sales page, it's probably going to make more sales and it's going to convert better. So upselling anything you're doing as a copywriter on a website into email can be a really, really good way to go. So there you go. Those are six ways that as a freelance writer, you can upsell and get more money on your invoices with your clients while creating a win-win scenario that's going to be better for your client, better for you, and allow you to make more money. My name's Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Location Rebel, where we teach you how to make money on the internet with your words. So whether you want to be a freelance writer, copywriter, blogger, affiliate marketer, you name it, that's what we help you do on this channel. Go to locationrebel.com slash hi. Get our free six-day course. We're going to walk you through everything you need to know to build that online business. And while you're doing that, watch this video. Hit subscribe somewhere over here. Hit thumbs up. Notification bell so you're notified every time we got a new video. And, uh, We'll see you on the next one. I hope you have an excellent day and uh, we'll see you later. Peace.